And when I came here, yeah, we had a really terrible financial crisis on our hands, so we did uh, implement about a dozen different things as far as uh, improving the cash flow and, and, and attempts to save the college, and uh, they were effective. And so today, uh, we've had about a $26 million turnaround. Our cash flow went from almost zero to uh, this month, uh, we have about $25 million in cash flow. Of course, that depends on enrollment. We've also established a uh, rainy day fund or a re reserves fund, and that has about $16 million in it now. We still need to uh, continue to work on uh, lots of programs and lots of infrastructure. When I came here also, the sidewalks were in pretty bad shape, the roofs leaked, and so we've corrected all that by uh, unanimous uh, consent of the board, changed our name to Henry Ford College, and uh, we have a new brand, which is uh, Future Driven, and we take that very seriously. We wanna have everything we do and our students to be thinking about what does the future contain? Every report we have of any activity or any behavior that is unsafe, we take it very seriously. We have beefed up our security efforts and done a lot more training around how to respond to emergency situations. We'll continue that and continue to provide that training to all of our employees and to students. We have a pretty good group of cameras all over campus as far as making sure that we can monitor parking lots and hallways and buildings. Several weeks ago, ITT, a national college that had about 40,000 students, uh, closed its doors on opening day of this uh, first semester this fall and so <clears throat> we immediately took action to let them know about our college and let them know about the services we offer here. I'm glad that uh, we did that. We've had hundreds and hundreds of phone calls from those uh, students that have been uh, uh, left kind of high and dry as far as uh, this fall's education. But it looks like we'll be able to help uh, well over a hundred uh, nurses from ITT, transfer over nursing students that is, and uh, be able to again begin their training and then finish it out. When I came on board in 13, we were experiencing a 23% decrease in enrollment. We were, we were able to stop that and had about a 1% gain the next semester and then about a 5% gain. Now, along with almost every community college in the state, we're seeing a little bit of a dip down. Ours is only about a percent or two down. Many others are six and seven percent or double digits even. And when I got here, the student bad debt was at $11.7 million every year, which is uh, atrocious. Now, this year it's down to 1.7, which is uh, about the industry standard. We are very vibrant. We have great quality and faculty and, and uh, staff, as well as the programs here. We're always expanding into new programs. I guess overall, we want to be considered in the top 10% of all community colleges in the whole country, and in some areas to be the number one.